that. Where's the lace? Don't know her. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a full get ready with me. It didn't really start off as a get ready with me, but I am leaving the house. So I was like, why not show them my outfit, perfume, all that good stuff. So that's what I'm doing today. Um, I look great. It's a casual moment, but I think it's really cute. It's very me. You guys know I'm really like chill. So I don't like all that extraness. So if you want to see how I got this look from hair, let me do it in order from hair, makeup, fragrance to outfit then make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel and keep watching all right guys so welcome back to my channel um i'm really excited to be recording this video because i have a new wig and i've been so thirsty for this hairstyle for the last few months and i finally got it your girl is gonna be ginger so today's wig is from jack jacque monet i'll leave all the information down in the description box and i'm going to be using a um, a few more products from her as well. Um, she is black owned. But anyways, today I'm going to be doing a... I don't know if it's going to be a get ready with me yet. Honestly, in this exact moment, I highly doubt it. I really want to focus on my hair and my makeup. I haven't really been into clothes lately. I literally just cleaned out my closet. So I really am... I don't want to say limited on clothes, but I am. And I just haven't shopped. I'm... It just is what it is. So it's most likely going to be a hair and makeup transformation, but we love that anyways. So, all right. So today I'm going to be starting off with my hair. Like I said, I don't know where this video is really going yet. I don't know if I'm going to do a full get ready with me. If I want to whip together an outfit, if I want to just do my hair and makeup. The only reason I really, 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 really won't do a full get ready with me is because it's kind of gloomy outside. So the, the weather is unpredictable. And when I do full get ready with me, it's, I like to do a picture okay you know what i'm saying and if i can't take a picture it's no fun for me it really isn't so we're gonna see where this goes today but i'm gonna have this gorgeous wig from jacque monet um she custom made this wig for me so if i'm not mistaken yes she did a frontal and bundles and made it into a wig so this is very 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 custom and it's so freaking gorgeous i feel like ginger slash red hair is well slash orange hair is making a comeback um it never really went out of style but i've been seeing a lot of people ginger these days and i'm just like oh my gosh i gotta be ginger again i was ginger sometime last year but um mine's was more on the orangey kind of side this one's like a true ginger like i love it so um i'm gonna apply this wig hopefully it fits because we didn't do any measurements or anything I just told her that my I know my I know that typically I'm an average um, cap size, so it should be good. But it's already styled and everything. I might have to um, zhuzh it up a little bit, but for the most part, it is nice and fluffy. It's curled. The knots are plucked slash bleached. So she did a great job. I'm just hoping that I can slay this install because sometimes <laughs> it's not on my side. So also, I'm going to be using a few other products from her brand as well. You guys know I always use my lace paste whenever I need to tint my lace. If necessary, it's a um, powder product. And you basically are able to kind of customize your shades. I pretty much stick in these two shades. Don't really dip over here, but I, again, I can mix. Um, you have some for the lighter girls too. I feel like a lot of time people don't think that lighter skin girls need tints either. Yes, they do. So I love that you can customize this and I love the formula of these. They're so buttery and so smooth. They don't cake up or anything like that. So that's what I'll be using. In addition to these brushes, are these all of them? Um, so there's these brushes that come with the lace paste and um, you have like an angled one, like a pointed angle one for your part. This one for the um, edges and this one as well. So you can kind of like, you know, do what works for you. But I really do like these brushes because that means I don't have to use my makeup brushes for my hair. And then, of course, my favorite, favorite product. I use this all the time now. This is a Velcro elastic band of course you can get a regular elastic band like this and just tie it but i promise you guys this is so much better this is reusable you can wash this i have a few of these so i always have them on deck but i will leave all this below and i'm gonna go ahead and slay my hair because i cannot really talk 
and do my hair sometimes but not always and lately um i just ain't been feeling that so i'm just gonna focus and slay this install hopefully hopefully the hair gods are on my side so just sit back relax enjoy and um yeah never okay i know i keep stopping and talking but this was blonde hair that she dyed she custom colored it for me um amazing quality but this is the first time in so long that i've installed blonde hair and the lace is literally like melted like it looks amazing like i am literally genuinely Please, I'm so happy. I can't wait to style this a little more. But it looks good just like this. But you know, I'm gonna get myself some va va voom because I deserve it, baby. I deserve it. All right, so you guys, I think I might do a no baby hair moment because like, this is almost disrespectful how good it looks. Like this looks so good. But I am gonna add some of the powder to my part. So I'm gonna be using the lace paste. Um just so that it doesn't look crazy. And I don't even want to curl this. I love when my hair is like this. I might curl the front, because you guys know I like that little like bump right there. I might do that and like pin curl it. But other than that. Okay, so I did a slight baby hair action. I just could not help myself, but it's like very, very light. And I'm just gonna spray this one more time, just so that could be melting while I'm doing my makeup. And I'm gonna put my elastic band back on and we're gonna get into this face because I'm really excited to beat my face with this hair color so now we're gonna get into this phase and my skincare is already done so I'm gonna go straight into my brows today I have my little like <laughs> I have my little brow um, container in front of me and I'm gonna have to mix up a few things because I don't want my brows to be too dark but then I don't want them to be too light and then I don't want them to be orange so we're just gonna see where this goes so I'm gonna be using spiked by Mac and I'm only using this because this is like my more brown um brow pencil everything else is kind of on the darker side so I'm just gonna finesse and I'm gonna use my Pat McGrath um concealer to carve out my brows, I mix these two shades that I have, which are MD26 and M20. I did all that to still have dark brows. Wow. So I'm going to take this CoverGirl um, brow gel in the shade medium and just lighten that up. I'm just going to go over that 
and that's literally gonna soften it because this is light you guys see the difference you're like hell no okay so we're just gonna disregard my brows because they're so dark <laughs> and i'm not gonna start over so we're just gonna um see where this goes i feel like every time i do my brows on camera they suck that's why i don't like doing them on camera but it's okay guys we're gonna move forward so today i'm gonna start off with this bobby brown vitamin enriched face base because i love a thick like cream i live so a lot of people use this as a primer. I'm going to use this mainly as a moisturizer and then go on top with a primer. We're going to see. But I definitely like how this feels. It's like that thick kind of cream. It, it doesn't have a tacky feel, but it's not super slippery. So I know my makeup is going to stick when I put it on. So great for dry skin. Mm. So, as an actual primer today, I'm going to be using my YSL Blurring Primer. I actually really like this. I picked it up the other day and used it, and I was like, mm, a little skeptical, but I like her. She's really blurring without being mattifying, because a lot of times, I feel like a lot of blurring primers have that, like, um, mattifying property to it. I just don't like matte primers on myself. I don't know. It's not my forte. For foundation today, I'm going to be using my Pat McGrath foundation in the shade Medium Deep 26. And I'm going to be using my Morphe E63 brush. And I'm just going to apply her. I was like literally debating if I wanted to use this on my NARS. But I feel like this is going to... This photographs really well too, so... We love her. She's super lightweight. Look at that. Where's the lace? Don't know her. <laughs> Looks like the sun's coming out. Love that for us. And for concealer, I'm going to be using my Pat McGrath in MD26, which is the same shade as my foundation. And this is just going to add a little bit more coverage. I've said repeatedly, but I hope somebody is grasping the concept. I prefer to use concealer um, to conceal my blemishes. It's concealer, duh. Um, instead of packing on foundation, I literally will grab it gravitate more towards a medium coverage foundation and a full coverage concealer versus a full coverage foundation and you know full coverage concealer i just like the balance of the products personally it just looks a lot better and the end result is like flawless it's literally gorgeous so so now i'm gonna blend this out and i am using my dose of color sponge i love this sponge but it's been dirty for so long that i kind of forgot that i had it but this sponge is bomb you guys so now that we're all concealed and snatched and our skin's looking flawless i'm gonna go ahead and highlight and contour i'm gonna go in with my born this way my Too faced born this way concealer in the shade butterscotch and i'm gonna highlight so i'm gonna bring that on the sides of my nose first I kind of been neglecting this concealer and I did not know why. I know what's wrong with me. This concealer never does me wrong and I just be trying to switch it up. And I'm going to do that kind of lift method. I realized that this actually looks a lot better on me and I'm just so stuck on using hella concealer. But like, girl, you do not need that much concealer. And then I'm going to go on with my Fenty Matchstick in the shade Espresso and I'm going to contour. So my jaw jawbone my jawbone is literally right here but you know i like to lift the face i like to look like a walking filter so i'm gonna go above my jawbone or like exactly on it versus like in it does that make any sense i don't know the correct terminology but yeah i bring it a little bit higher up so that my face looks more lifted and then i bring it under here it's kind of messily and i do a little bit on my forehead i don't do too much because I don't have a big forehead today <laughs> and um, I really don't care about my forehead looking big or small like that really doesn't faze me. So now I'm just going to take a brush and blend out my contour while my concealer sits. I like my concealer to sit for about a minute or two so it's nice and thick, full coverage and it just, you know, lifts and snatches.
And make sure you're blending this really good because sometimes I be forgetting to blend it correctly and I have this like line. And go back in with your foundation brush if necessary or your sponge just to kind of merge the two products together. And initially I like to kind of like blend it out but then I do padding motion. So it looks like I'm dragging but I really want to do padding motions because I don't want to lift up my foundation or move anything so. And now I'm gonna blend out the concealer. I like to start from the center of my face because I don't really need a lot of coverage there. Coverage there. I want more of the coverage underneath my eyes. So while I'm blending out, that's still technically setting. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that immediately. I'm using my Dion, let me make sure you guys can see it, my Dion Cosmetics powder in the shade number three. And I like this because it's very buttery. It's like a skin tone color, but it's like yellow undertone, but it's not yellow. I really, really like this. And every time I wear this, my face looks flawless. So I'm just gonna use that and press that in. And I like how it brightens. It brightens my under eye perfectly. And you're just gonna set anywhere else that you guys put that concealer. You guys see the instant like blur in my face? It looks so good. And you're also gonna wanna set your all over face. Um, and I'm gonna be using my Fenty Pro Filter Powder in the shade 410. And I'm using so many black owned um, brands today unintentionally, but they do what they need to do y'all, seriously. So now I'm gonna bronze. I'm using my Fenty bronzer and Coco Naughty. We love her over here. We stand her. I don't know what the heck I was using before this. I don't even think anything else mattered before this or after this for that matter. And I only use this to contour my nose or I only prefer to use this to contour my nose because everything else looks crazy. Go back in with that um, Dion Cosmetics and snatch the sides of my nose, down the middle of my nose, and underneath my jawbone. So now I'm gonna move on to my eyes. I'm gonna just add a little bit of this concealer that was left on this brush. Because truth be told, I just want the focus to be on my hair. I don't want like a super dramatic eye. But guess what palette I'm gonna be using? Give you guys one second to figure it out. One second. Yes, I can't help myself. I know, I'm annoying. But I just feel like if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? So I'm gonna go in with the shade Empress because it's a little bit, well, it is orange. And I'm gonna go for like a warmer transition today um, just so that it can kind of complement the hair a little bit more. I don't want an orange eye, but I do want something that's gonna complement this just a little bit. So I'm going into the crease with this. And I'm just blending that out really good so that it's super blown out and effortless. You guys know I'm not really into a precise eyeshadow look unless stated otherwise, but it's typically very rare. So I'm just blending that out as much as possible. Then I'm gonna go into the shade Royal Prerogative and I'm gonna put that right on top of that orange just to tone it down because I didn't really want an orange eye but I did want it to complement the hair a little bit just a little tiny bit I'm gonna cheat a little bit and I'm gonna go into this makeup addiction palette and use this brown shade it's a little bit richer and I'm just gonna place that in the crease too just lots of browns that's the goal for the day Brown on brown on brown. And I'm switching back and forth between this Morphe M433 brush and this M505 brush. This one's a little bit more compacted and this one's a lot fluffier, so I'm able to like blow this out. And I'm just gonna take Royal Prerogative and put that all over my lid, cause it is brown, but it's not like a super deep brown. 
it's literally like my skin tone so it's gonna kind of open but be smoky at the same time i probably did this look <laughs> already this week but it's okay and that's my eye for now i think i want to do a matte in a corner though <sighs> yeah i'm gonna do a matte in a corner just to give y'all a little razzle dazzle so i'm gonna go into the shade air and i'm just gonna place that in my inner corner that gives the look something something you didn't know you needed and i like using a matte because when you blend it into the other shadows it just kind of melts away versus being like this big glittery shimmery chunk in the front of your your eyeshadow i just i just stand okay so now i'm going to what am i going to do so now i'm going to line my waterline with black do we see a difference i used to hate lighting my waterline so crazy so now i'm going to dust all of this away I'm going to take a little bit of my Fenty highlighter and I'm going to place that on the tip of my nose. That's literally the only place that I highlight. And I've been like this for a while now. I just realized I don't really like highlighter like that anymore. But I have to highlight my nose. Something about my nose. And for blush today, I'm going to go in with my Cover FX Spice Cinnamon. And I'm going to place that right on my cheek. Ooh, why is it blurring up? I want y'all to see this. Like I was saying, I'm going in with my Cover FX Spice Cinnamon. I love these blushes so much. I wish they had more shades. Like these blushes are bomb, you guys. And I'm using the matte side. It has a shimmery side, which is really nice, but I just prefer the matte side. And I feel like the spice cinnamon, why does it keep blurring up? I feel like the spice cinnamon goes with the, the hair, you know, the cinnamon vibe. And then I'm gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury um, Flawless Airbrush Powder in the shade number two. And I'm just gonna brighten my under eye a little bit more do you see what that did um, i'm gonna be using these v lux by imv lashes in the style pale blush they look like this they have been worn to the ground <laughs> and i'm gonna be wearing them again yeah i'm kind of glad i didn't do liner today it's like still giving bad bitch but like humble humble bad bitch <laughs> So now I'm gonna move on to my lips. I need a new KKW. I hate when the liners do this. Like, what is up with that? So this is a, the shade New 3. I actually really, really love this lip liner formula and the shade. I think it's perfect. So I'm about to line my lips. And I don't even know what I'm wearing on my lips today. Wow, I was out the frame the whole time. Hmm. But anyways, y'all know how to line your lips, right? Well, a lot of people don't, but Everybody's lips are different, so how I line mine may not be the same you line yours or what works for you. So, so I'm going to be going in with my B. Taylor gloss and it's sheer. Kind of want something a little bit more muted. I kind of wanted to do a matte, but like not really. I don't know. You guys know I like to push my lash up so that my eyes just look super lifted and i'm gonna do some bottom mascara well i'm gonna spray my face first actually so i'm gonna be using the milk hydro grip um setting spray this is one of my favorite setting sprays it is literally a setting spray i feel like a lot of sprays um that i do like or i've liked in the past are just like they just make my face look really nice but they don't actually make my makeup last this is one of those that does both so just gonna make sure it's spraying right and I'm gonna put on some bottom mascara and I will be right back. All right guys, so um, there's kind of been a change in plans. Remember I said I might give you an outfit, I might not, but I am because I am actually gonna be leaving the house. So it works out, but I'm just going out for tacos. It is Cinco de Mayo. I hate saying what day it is because when the video is posted a week or two later, I'll be feeling like I failed y'all. But I'm gonna just be transparent with y'all. It's Cinco de Mayo and I don't know when this video is gonna be up, so. There's that, but um, there's no need to dress up, but since I'm already like kind of cute, I might as well like, you know, do a little sum sum. So this is a nice casual outfit if you're running out to eat with your friends, a little happy hour, whatever. Um, and it's gonna be a Mexican restaurant um, up the street. So it's gonna be something very chill and simple. So my hair is done. I think it looks great. Like I'm obsessed with this color this wig is staying in the collection baby like this is a staple 
Ginger is definitely that girl because it's not that obnoxious ginger. It's not that brassy ginger. This is like it. This looks amazing. All right, so now that I threw on something really quick, I'm going to show you guys my fragrance, my little accessories, and then my whole outfit. So I'm going to be wearing Fresh by Moschino. This is the gold. It's actually like non-existent anymore. You have to buy it from like a perfume store in the mall or like one of those fragrance websites or I've seen it on Amazon. Supposedly those are not authentic. I do not know. I have no idea but that's what the girls are saying. I got mine from um, TJ Maxx. It was like I didn't even know it was this one. I just saw Moschino Gold and it was like 15 bucks. So I was like, let me just pick it up and see what it is. Either I'm gonna like it or not like it. And well, it didn't say Moschino Gold. It just said Moschino in gold. And I did not know it was this one. And so I opened it. I was like, oh my gosh. So um, I looked up on this and I've been on the hunt for one since I saw it. And I haven't had any luck. So when I run out of this, I'll probably just order it from Amazon again. But this is a very like, I'm gonna see. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. So it says that the top notes, it's a lot going on, you guys, but you guys, oh my gosh, has pear, mango, white peach, rhubarb leaf. I've heard of that, but it's not coming out. Um, grapefruit, mandarin, orange. The middle notes are jasmine, orchid, and lily of the valley. And the base notes are vanilla, something wood, musk, sandalwood, and patchouli. So I'm getting more of the sandalwood, the musk, the patchouli, patchouli, y'all know what the heck I'm saying, okay? Um, but the best way to describe this off rip, it's just spicy. It's like this sweet, spicy scent. And you guys, this fragrance, I feel like even full price, it's only like 35 bucks but this lasts all day. This one, I definitely get a lot of compliments. When I walk in the room, you can smell me. You can smell it on my clothes. If I take my jacket off, it's on my jacket days later. Like this smells so good. And honestly, the packaging is so freaking cute. This is definitely a vibe. Like I like this. I just love cute packaging. I remember the first time I got fresh, I was like trying to spray it like this, but like, no sis, take it off. Cause I have the original one too. So um, yeah, this just smells really good and it just does what it needs to do. So um, that's it for the fragrance. For accessories today, I kept it very simple, but because my outfit is so casual, I wanted some, a little pop, you know? So I'm wearing my silver studs. I do not know where I got these from. I probably got them from the beauty supply store or I have no idea, honestly. Um, I just have them on my jewelry tray. And then I put on this necklace from Nimi Glow. This was the necklace with Kyra's collab. I just feel like when you put on jewelry with a casual outfit, like you put on like flashy jewelry, it just looks really, really good. And then I have on my silver JBW watch. I love this watch so much. I feel like it elevates my outfit. Whether it's a dressy outfit or a casual outfit, I feel like it just brings it up a notch. So I definitely want to get like a, um, a mixed metal or two-toned one because I do have some gold and I don't like the all gold watches for some reason they seem very tacky I haven't seen them in person but whenever I see the all gold online I'm like mm -hmm. so I've really been liking the silver and that's why I've been gravitating more towards silver because I feel like the watch so, mm -mm -mm, it looks so good so um, now I'm gonna show you guys my whole outfit and yeah I have on this shirt from Fashion Nova it's like a it's giving sweatshirt, but it's very, very thin, so it's perfect for this weather, because even though it's technically summer or spring, whatever you want to call it, it's kind of gloomy today. It's on and off, and it's not super hot. It's not super cold, so I'm able to wear whatever I want. So I just kind of rolled up the sleeves so I don't look so, like, dorky like this. So I just, like, rolled it up. It just looks really relaxed, and it kind of, like, it just kind of... Then I have on these jeans. I freaking love these jeans, you guys. They look so good they look so good i already don't have a butt so don't be coming for me if my butt looks flat okay but they're super comfy they're not like that jegging material so i don't know when they're like jegging material they're too stretchy and they start to get like loose kind of but these are not non-stretchy jeans either they just fit really really nice and i love the rips in them i really like having rips in my jeans i feel like they make your outfit look a little bit edgier so that's my zhuzh personally and these are from true hills my uncle actually designs these jeans um i will leave the instagram and stuff below they are pricey 
they're really pricey but I'm noticing especially for me because I am um I don't have an hourglass shape I just have to invest in jeans like I've been wearing a lot of Joe jeans um even Levi's are kind of eh um, I just like higher quality jeans, so I feel like it's good to invest in a nice pair of jeans if you're into that kind of thing. So yeah, they look really good. It's great quality. Okay, so yeah. I'm gonna wear my mochas. I hope they're not dirty and I'm gonna show these. I'm gonna wear my mochas. It's giving hype beast, but fashion, okay? <laughs> so I'm gonna wear my mochas with this and I don't even know what bag. So I love the cut of the jeans because they're not super skinny. I hate super skinny jeans, but I don't like super flare jeans. Don't like super boot cut jeans. I just love this straight skinny, I will call it, cut. I just feel like it's super chill, super cash, perfect for tacos, super cute, and I can still take a picture. <laughs> you guys know my butt love taking pictures. So yeah, this is how I look. So cute. So you guys, I hope you enjoyed this get ready with me. It wasn't gonna be a get ready with me, but it ended up being one. And I'm actually pleased with the look. The ginger just like brings up the, the outfit a notch. Even though it's a simple outfit, it just brings it up a notch and I'm living. I just feel really cute, really fun, really comfy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will have more get ready with me's in the future. So make sure you guys are subscribed so you guys can keep up with me and I will see you guys next time. Bye.